If you need to sand small things, then this might be your best friend. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. This is a little desktop belt sander. I think this is 30 millimeters wide, so just over an inch. So even though this is designed to sand small things, you can sand some pretty good size things with this. I picked this up because it was pretty inexpensive and I wanna show it to you. This is a desktop belt sander. You can put this on your desk or your workbench. You can use this for all sorts of things, small woodworking, maybe deburring things. Maybe you do a little metal work for me. I wanna be able to kind of sand the tips of golf clubs and golf accessories, those types of things. And doing it by hand, one is slow and consistent, but it also gets you achy. And this does it a lot faster and a lot more consistently. So what we get here is this really actually pretty impressive little piece of kit here it's made out of some pretty robust metal we've got some rubber feet here on the bottom we also have this little belt sander it's kind of like a little conveyor belt or a tank tread and then behind here we have a metal bracket which is going to be nice as you're pushing things in there there's going to be some support so you're not just going to cut through the sandpaper it does have this little adjustable shelf right there as the sandpaper goes down you will have something bracing it here it won't just kick things out of your hand and especially if you're doing golf club shafts or something like that you can actually brace it here and then push it in and rotate it around if you look on the back here you can see how it is made here a couple of rollers and the bottom roller here is actually attached to this electric motor so we have a power switch and then a power port right there and then on the front you can actually see where you can adjust all of these things with these included allen keys and make any adjustments here up here is a tensioning spring to kind of pull this up to put some tension on that which is really nice i also love the fact that it looks like we get maybe half a dozen additional sanding belts right there and then we get the power brick right here which is kind of like an old school laptop power cord with a single prong so i'm going to plug this in let's try it out all right so i've got it plugged into power i'm just going to plug in the power cable here that should be off i'm going to hit the one so that we can turn it on and that sucker's cruising all right so what I like about this is potentially being able to sand off things. Now, I have a pencil here, and I'm just going to see if I can remove some of this paint pretty easily and quickly. Look at that. You don't want to push into it too much, otherwise you'll lock it up. But if I go faster, I can kind of kind of keep it a little more even. But, yep, that'll remove paint just fine. If I put the pencil down here, I can lock it up because it's pushing the pencil into this little tray here. But I can actually put a pretty good amount of force against the sanding belt as long as I don't let it wedge into that little tray there. So anyway, this thing works. And if you need to pick up a, a bench top belt sander, I would definitely recommend this one. It's one of the most inexpensive ones I can find and really made quite nicely. I would definitely recommend this one. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out! If you wanna know about a brand, ask me I'll check if what's in the bag's nasty Better if you know what's up than the unhappy I know what it feels like when you're done cashing They tried their meal or drive their vehicle Garbage delivered at your P.O. I know you feel yo You wanna scream your head hurts on your pillow Discover more Yeah, yeah, yeah Explore deeper Yeah, yeah, yeah Live better If you need to sand things,